You cannot make a spy game without some kind of toys. You have your submachine guns, you have your assault rifles, you have your shotgun, your pistol. We have things like a, a shock trap, which electrifies your enemies when you toss it out. A device called a radio mimic. And basically, by listening to their chatter, you go, hey guys, uh, it's me, Bob, uh, turn off the alarms. And they go, oh, it's Bob. Who the f is Bob? But the alarms are turned off. Perimeter sleep ASAP. These are all different ways that you can use to overcome obstacles. And that might be getting past a locked door, it might be getting past some enemies. When you use uh, the ability such as Chain Shot, like, you know, time is slowing down and, you know, everyone's kind of moving really slow and then once you're back in, everyone just, you quickly just take all the shots out and it's just like one of those, you know, wow, this is, this is really awesome. I gotta say, uh, I've, I've loved the shotgun in Alpha Protocol uh, the most, especially with um, the different types of ammunition that are available. We allow like flechette rounds, we, you know, allow armor-piercing slugs. Obviously my favorite is phosphorus. Uh, and you're like, oh, phosphorus, what does that do? Well, basically, we can light the guy's clothes on fire. Now, that is really good if you want to get somebody to stop shooting at you. In the safe house is where you're going to find your black market, where you can actually go and buy and sell weapons and upgrade your gadgets. Thornton can't make his own weapons, but he can definitely modify them. He can actually add uh, scopes to them. You know, you can decrease the recoil on your weapons. You can add longer clips onto it, so you can actually, you know, come in there with more ammo. Um, in regards to gadgets, you can definitely upgrade all of those and make them a little bit stronger. Whether they want to stealth into a situation, whether they want to set traps, whether they want to make sure that, that they're being super, super quiet or collecting all of the loot or stuff that's in a level. All of these things are affected by really how they've chosen to level up their character and what, what kind of toys and, and, and goodies that they've brought with them. I think in Alpha Protocol we really do a good job of actually, you know, defining this is a level one gadget and this is a level one upgrade and this is this is a level two. This is a lot different and this is a lot more fun. There's no right or wrong way of doing things. You can take, you know, if you want to go in there and just take all grenades and just your pistol and just start throwing grenades out everywhere and just killing everyone, you could do that. Or you can use some of the more tactical, stealthy weapons. I think RPGs are a very interesting game in that People want to play around with all of the different types of options that they have available to them, uh, be it with gadgets or with the weapons or armor, or different play styles, how they approach the different situations in the game. You're going to be shooting people and you're going to be blowing people up and you're going to be doing all this stuff, but at the same time, at its core, it's definitely an RPG. Fantastic.